Hi everyone, welcome to the Highlights from Ukraine podcast, your daily audio summary of the latest news reported in the Ukrainian media. My name is Artem, and here is the news. 603 days less the Russian invasion of Ukraine. In an address to the nation on Thursday, U.S. President Joe Biden called this moment in history a tipping point, a battle between world democracies and autocracies, reports Ukrainska Pravda. He accused Hamas and Russian President Vladimir Putin of wanting to completely destroy the neighboring democracy, but noted that they present different threats. The U.S. president said that supporting both wars in Israel and Ukraine is vital to America's national security. Biden explained that military aid to Ukraine helps create jobs in America. Quote, let me be clear about something. We are sending equipment to Ukraine that we have in our warehouses. And when we use money provided by Congress, we replenish our own stockpile with new equipment, weapons that protect America and that are made in America. Unquote. Biden informed that on Friday he will send an urgent budget request to Congress to help support Israel and Ukraine. Earlier media reported that the White House will ask for 100 billion US dollars, 60 of which will be for Ukraine. At the same time, according to Axios sources among Israeli officials, the US government wants to give Israel tens of thousands of artillery shells that were previously designated for Ukraine. Israel informed their U.S. counterparts that they urgently needed artillery shells to prepare for a ground invasion in Gaza and the possible escalation of the war along the Israeli-Lebanon border. U.S. officials believed that diverting the shells from Ukraine to Israel would have no immediate impact on Ukraine's ability to fight against Russian troops. President of Ukraine Volodymyr Zelensky had a phone call with U.S. President Joe Biden, reports Unian. Zelensky thanked the U.S. for providing long-range Atakams missiles. Leaders considered the possibilities of further strengthening the long-range capabilities of the Ukrainian troops. They've also discussed reforms, Ukraine peace formula and use of frozen Russian assets. The U.S. Defense Department confirmed media reports that Ukraine can use recently provided Atakams missiles only against targets on its own territory, reports Interfax Ukraine. Pentagon spokesman General Patrick Ryder did not say how many Atakams missiles were transferred to Ukraine. He also noted that the United States will continue consultations with Ukraine, as well as allies and partners, in order to provide it with everything necessary to defend against Russian aggression. We would really appreciate if you could recommend us to your friends and family, as well as share information on social media. This way more people would learn about the podcast and truth about Russia's invasion. Foreign Minister of Ukraine Mitro Kuleba said that the United States will supply long-range Atakams missiles on an ongoing basis, reports OnePlus One. He also hopes that Ukraine will receive Atakams missiles capable of hitting targets at a distance of 300 kilometers, as the current version has limited range. Kuleba assumed that Ukraine may expect to receive the F-16 fighter jets in the first half of 2024. He called this projection an optimistic scenario. The minister informed that at the moment the Ukrainian pilots are undergoing training abroad while Ukraine is preparing necessary infrastructure. The International Commission on Missing Persons knows about nearly 30,000 of civilians from Ukraine who have gone missing since the beginning of the full-scale Russian war, reports Suspilne. Catherine Bomberger, Director General of the International Commission on Missing Persons, said that the Commission is working to understand what these numbers are and what they mean. Bomberger explained that people who are alive, that were separated from their families, imprisoned people with no possibility to communicate, those killed in combat actions whose bodies have not been identified and the families do not know where they are, as well as illegally deported children may be included in this number. She added that these numbers continue to grow. The Ukrainian parliament Verkhovna Rada supported a bill that would ban Russian-linked religious organizations in Ukraine at the first reading, reports Interfax Ukraine. Now MPs will have time to suggest changes to the document and will vote for it in the second reading. After that, it will go to the president. 
At the same time, the Ukrainian Orthodox Church, that is part of the Russian Church and thus at risk to be banned under this law, released a statement claiming that it is fully independent from Moscow and called this planned ban violation of religious freedoms, reports Radio Liberty. Ukraine plans to include drone flying in the school curriculum, reports Army Inform. The Ministry of Education and Science plans to update the teaching methods of the subject Defense of Ukraine, adding also the teaching of the basics of tactical thinking and special understanding, the Army reports. The goal of such changes is that each student has the basic skills and can choose a military or civilian specialty in the control, production, design or modernization of drones. Thank you for listening to the Highlights from Ukraine podcast, when a commercial initiative of just two people and we need your help to grow. Share information about the podcast, rate us in the app, subscribe to our Patreon. With your support, we are getting better. We call on you to demand from governments of your countries to impose the toughest sanctions possible on Russia and its citizens to stop their invasion of Ukraine.